What's good, Alive Youth? Welcome to Five Minutes of Fire, where you get your weekly dose of bread and fire in under five minutes. You know, I was thinking about when I was in junior high and high school, I had two big goals. I was gonna be the dopest rapper ever. I was gonna tour the world. Either that or I was gonna be in the NBA. Here was the challenge. I was 4'11 as a freshman. So that didn't hit, that, that goal didn't hit. And then as a rapper, I didn't get my shot, but you know what? Neither one of those goals had nothing to do with God. I can communicate, but God waited until I put my gifts for his purpose. And what about you? You may have some big goals and big dreams. You got a big war you want to accomplish. And I want to share something that you can apply in under five minutes. Let's talk about King David and how he destroyed Goliath. Many of you heard of that story, so I don't want to talk about that. That was the war that put him on the map. That was the test that made him king. But there's so many battles that he had to go through before he got that war. I want to talk about those battles battles because many of us never get to fight that war because we get knocked out in the battle and he fought three battles prior to that war that gave him that victory so what i want to talk about in five minutes is emotional confidence i want you in your own time to read first samuel 17 but we're going to talk about battles in three areas where we can have more emotional confidence it's with our families it's with our leaders and with our enemies See, that day, David, he had this dream. He was anointed to be king, but he didn't know this day he was going to have a war. And it started off with a family battle. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, his dad tells him to do a simple chore. You know when your parents tell you to do something simple and it kind of gets on your nerves? Well, those chores are connected to greatness. So he's taking some bread and some cheese to his big brothers. And have you ever had a big brother or an aunt or an uncle, they just hate on you for no reason? Look what it says in 1 Samuel 17, verse 28. His biggest brother, the person he's supposed to look up to, when David comes to bring him food and ask how he's doing, he says, I know the presumption in your heart. I know you're evil and you've come down to see the battle. David says, what have I done now? You got anybody in your family that is always giving you a hard time? That's how David feels. Like, what have I done now? What are you accusing me for now? But look what David does and how he responds. He wins this battle in verse 30 and he turned away from him toward another and spoke in the same way. And the people answered him, as before. This is what David did. If you have a family member that's unkind to you, maybe it's your parents, maybe it's your relatives, and they're just being really mean to you, turn those words towards God. Sometimes when somebody comes and gives us beef, it's in us and then we give somebody else beef. Hurt people hurt people. What David does, he turns away from those words, releases them to God, and he can speak to other people in the same way that he would before. Emotional confidence. Don't allow the things that your family may be saying to you while they're stressed out to get you stressed out. So he won that first battle with his family, but what about with leaders? That means that if you have a part-time job and you're in high school, this could be your supervisor, this could be your basketball coach, your cheer coach, this could be your teacher, because he goes to this battle and he goes to his leader, King Saul. Back then he was playing the harp for him. So he was like, hey, there's a battle. I'll fight the battle for you. Look at how his leader responded to him. This is the second battle. He says, you're not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him for you're only a youth. Have you ever, ever had a leader that just didn't believe in you? You got the courage to fight. You wanna be the starting quarterback. You got the talent, but your coach don't believe in you. Your teacher don't believe in you. Have you ever heard words from your supervisor or from your leader that just made you discouraged? That's what David could be feeling right now. This is his second battle of emotional courage. So the first battle was with family. The second battle was with leaders. The third battle is with enemies. So now he's about to face Goliath. But before he fights Goliath, Goliath mocks him. Look at what Goliath says in verse 43. For Samuel 17, you got to read it yourself. The Philistine said to David, am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? He called David sticks. Have you ever had people that gossip about you? people that are negative about you, your haters, people that are against you. Here's what you do, and this is what David did. He said, the battle 
is the Lord's. He will give you into our hand. When people are coming against you, your family, your supervisor, your coach, your haters, they're not just coming against you. They're coming against the God that's within you. And God is going to protect you and God is going to sustain you. That's why David had that courage. It says he ran to that battle line and he used what was already in his hands. What's in your hands? What comes natural to you? What are you good at? That's what God wants to cultivate for you to knock out giants. What is your war? What are you fighting right now? I pray that you have the emotional confidence to know that the battle is not yours. The battle is God's. Thank you so much. Well, hey family, if you were blessed by that video, why don't you like it? Why don't you share it? Share it with your family. Share it with your leaders. Share it with your haters. You want to have everybody subscribe to Alive Youth. Let's make this go viral. Five minutes of fire.